Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to give you guys a review on the DSA course from Kunal Kushwaha. So I made one video about the Kunal Kushwaha controversy and then I thought controversy aside, what matters is the content that we YouTubers are putting out for you people. What matters is the content that's helping you guys in the computer science community. And so I decided to give his course a view and I'm going to give you guys an honest review of his course. And also this video is a part of my DSA course review series in which I'm going to give you guys an honest review of the courses of DSA on YouTube and the factors that I consider for these review are the explanation, how well is the explanation, theory, how well is the theory of the DSA explained and code clarity like how neat and how understandable the code is and the problems that they solve and explain on the course. Okay, so Kunal Kishwa's DSA course review, let's go. So I watched most of his videos and the language of the course is English which is pretty universal and the coding language which he uses is Java, which is one thing that bugs me a little because uh, I prefer C++ to Java for problem solving. Okay, so his explanations are pretty top notch. His explanation is really amazing. Like I cannot say one thing negative about his explanation. And as you can see, the videos he makes are pretty long. Like it can go starting from almost half an hour to even four hour, right? And the reason for that is, be is because he explains everything really well. He explains everything in details and to the T. So his explanations are pretty top notch. Like I cannot say one thing negative about the explanations. So the explanation is as perfect as you can want it to be in any course. Okay. So for the theory part of it, well, the course he has is pretty incomplete. Okay. So he has covered topics like the programming language Java, basics of Java installation, and then things like searching algorithm, sorting algorithm. But he hasn't covered a majority of DSA, which is like dynamic programming, graph theory, and uh, tree th trees, and all those things. He hasn't covered all of that. So I cannot make a proper comment on the theory because like I would say 60, more than 60% of the course is still incomplete, right? But whatever he has explained in the theory part is like, again, good, right? It's not bad. It's good. It's amazing. But I cannot make a proper comment till I see all of the course. Then coming to the code clarity, the code he writes is pretty neat. His code is like pretty understandable, especially for Java. And one thing I like is that instead of just, you know, copying a template for some, from somewhere, he actually writes the code himself. So he does live coding, which is very good for understanding and line by line, he codes it in front of you. So again, code clarity is as perfect as you can want it to be. The code clarity is pretty understandable and it's pretty neat, especially for Java. Okay. And the problems, well, he also covers a lot of problems. As you can see, like I showed you guys this binary search interview questions. This video is four hours. So he has explained a lot of problems in that. And the problem he takes are also explained really well. He explains the problems really well. But like I said, the course is incomplete. So there's a lot of problems that he hasn't explained or he hasn't shown but that's mostly because the course is yet to be completed so the one major downside of this course which i can tell you is that it's not fully interview ready right you cannot take this course and be ready for an interview because it's just not complete and the other part is that it's in java and java is good and all and you should know java for anyone who asks me what programming language to take i suggest first c plus plus and java so you should know java but for problem solving I mostly suggest people to take C++ for problem solving. But if you know Java, then well and good. You don't need to switch. But my personal preference and the personal preference of majority of people is using C++. Okay. And uh, for Java, so if you want to learn Java and if you want to learn DSA, then this course is perfect for you. And if this course was fully complete, then I would say that you could take this course if you wanted to learn DSA in Java, then this course would definitely be perfect for you. So if you want to learn Java or if you already know Java and you want to learn DSA, then definitely take its course up. And like I said, his course is pretty well, like the explanation, theory, code clarity problems, all of them are pretty good. His explanations, his coding, everything is amazing. But the one major downside is that the course is not complete. So you cannot watch this course and then be interview ready, right? So I hope he completes the course as soon as he does and then I'm going to give you another review on that. But as of now, whatever he has done, his, it's pretty perfect and definitely take his course up if you want to learn Java or if you want to learn DSA in Java. So that's all guys. 
and i hope you enjoyed the video and let me know what course i should review next and that's it thank you